Hello, welcome to another video, another typing video. This one was actually sent to me by a coworker of mine named Mia, who ran into a puzzling error message, and we're gonna walk through a extremely simplified version of it and then show you the solution. Uh, as always, I usually clone this so you can see where it's coming from and then set up a virtual M so that you can see what version of the tools we're using. And we'll do that again. I believe we're using 116 of MyPy, yes, indeed, and we're using Python 3.12, although it doesn't matter for this puzzle. So let's CD into puzzles 008, and we'll take a look at the puzzle that we have today. Okay, so this is an extremely simplified version of this. Uh, we have some sort of base class. Obviously, I haven't filled these out. They're not really important for this example. Uh, we have some concrete implementations of it, C and D, and we have a map that maps some string names to their actual classes. The idea being that you might serialize some data format that has just the string names, and then you can get back to the actual implementation later. Uh, we also have a sort of representation of a Django model. In this case, it's just a data class, but it functions similarly uh, in that we have the actual storage here. It's similar to what I was talking about, where it stores the string of the type name. And then we have a method that actually gets you back that real type name. And this code looks fine for the most part. Um, my editor is kind of giving away one of the problems here in that we've shadowed type here. And MyPy, in fact, is unhappy that we have shadowed type in a way that is a little bit surprising. It'll tell us here that variable t.m.type is not valid as a type, and it's pointing at line 25 here. 25 is, of course, this right here. Um, but if you've written typing before, you'd be like, well, what the heck? This should work. This is, you know, why doesn't MyPy know that I'm referring to uh, type? And the reason for this is aliasing rules. The way this lookup works is it looks up inside this namespace. MyPy notices this. Well, it's not actually an assignment. It's just an annotation. But nonetheless, it treats this as our annotation here. And this is nonsense. It's not actually a, a type alias or really the type built in that we're looking for. And so MyPy is like, well, what the heck are you doing? This doesn't make any sense. Um, before I show you the hint, uh, I guess I'll just show you the hint anyway. Uh, there is kind of three different ways to solve this, and I will walk you through all three of them and why I prefer the third one. Uh, but if we look at our readme here, we've got our hints here. Well, the first one gives away the first solution. Uh, you could use the deprecated type, capital T type, typing dot type, um, which is sort of obsolete now that we can just use built-ins dot type. Well, let's show that working at least from typing import type. And if we find lowercase type and replace it with capital type, we run MyPy on this now. You'll see that MyPy is happy with this. Um, but of course, you are definitely using uh, the tool that I wrote called PyUpgrade, which is going to uh, three, I don't know, three ten plus, I think that's what it was, which is totally going to undo that capital D type and then put you right back to where you were before. Because nobody likes using the deprecated things, right? Of course you're not using lowercase type. Um, so let's talk about other ways to solve this. One way is we could change the lookup of type here. So we have a lowercase type here. We need to make this look up some other way. So we could say like, type two equals type. Uh, I don't think this actually works because MyPy won't know this is an alias, but let's try it. You know, walk through the iterative process, show the failure and then fix it. Yeah, you can see here it says type expects no type arguments, which is another very surprising error message here. Uh, and that's because MyPy doesn't know that this is an alias. So we have two ways to fix that. One by importing from typing import type alias. And I'm putting this right here and not at the top because we're not going to permanently use this solution. Uh, we can explicitly mark it as a type alias by doing this. And MyPy still is not happy with it. Um, <laughs> that's not what I expected. Uh, but we can use the explicit new type alias types. And it should hopefully be OK with this. I'm really surprised that the type alias didn't work. That's probably a bug. Uh, yeah, this works. Puzzling. Huh. Weird. I don't know why the type alias one didn't work. Anyway, but I don't like this solution either because this looks ugly. Um, the solution that I like is there's actually another place where all of the built-in 
types and well built-in objects and types in python live and that is in the built-ins module and so we can sort of explicitly access type by accessing it from the built-ins module and this doesn't suffer from the other problems of the weird probably a bug in type alias stuff uh but my pie will be happy with this and this is the solution that i recommended to mia and the solution that is used uh several times in the century code base <laughs> I, I went back and searched for uh cases where it does this uh that was how i made this video but anyway this is the 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 solution that i like use built-ins.type uh of course you could use deprecated type but i wouldn't recommend the deprecated version and yeah you could use the type alias as well but this is the solution i like Anyway, hopefully you found this interesting. Uh, and if you have additional typing things, you can post them on the MyPy channel on the Discord or uh, or in chat or, or chat <laughs> or in the comments or, or wherever. But thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.